Okay, so Lee and I went and checked out another night of Comedy Gold at the National Theatre in St Kilda. And the other night we went along um, for a night that was hosted by Matt Stewart. Also featured Anna Perry, Nicholas J. Johnson, who's a magician, and Nicolette Minster. And it was headlined by, yes, Champagne Comedy Gold in the sense of Tony Martin. Of course, if you listen to... The Late Show, you'll know what I was referencing there when I said Champagne Comedy Gold. But, uh, Lee, what did you think of this lineup of Comedy Gold? Well, this is the second week that we've gone to. Um, and I think, obviously, Tony Martin was the big star in this case. Um, when he came on stage, you certainly um, could tell, you know, he's a level up. He's... He was the big name for the night. And for people who don't know who Tony Martin is, Tony Martin, of course, um, was part of the D-Gen. He was one of the guys on The Late Show, um, hosted Martin Malloy for a lot of years on um, radio, and now hosts a podcast called Sizzletown, uh, where he looks at cinema every week. So So he's a very seasoned comedian, um, and, you know, he's helped write a number of Australian movies with comedy through it, um, which, you know, have a search of his name and have a look. Um, I think Boytown was one of those films. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, I still, bad eggs, but I still have (laughs) this picture in my head of one of the scenes from Boytown, um, of these men who are meant to be riding horses and they all come out on ponies and it just is hilarious. It's one of those things where you've got to see it to see the human in it but um but yeah he, he's a very seasoned comedian um and i probably enjoyed his comedy the the most out of the night now i did enjoy the mc matt stewart um and i think you know at the start um he he did a lot of audience participation so i was a bit wary of that i, I don't want to be pulled into the comedy um but over the night, um, you kind of just settle into that and then you're kind of like, oh, well, if I get picked out, I get picked out. But, yeah, I was kind of trying to hide a little bit at the start. Um, but he did really well with engaging with the audience. Um, there was a, a joke that he told that is still in my mind right now. Now, I'm not going to tell his jokes because that's not, you know, that's not kind of fair to um, give his material out. Um But I have to say, I still have a joke in my mind that he told um, and still kind of laughing on the inside about it. So, yeah, he really got me there with this this especially one joke. Um, Now, there was another um, comedian who told a lot of mum jokes. Um, Anna Perry. Yeah, Anna. Who has got a show on at the comedy festival. Yes, she does. Um, So, if... I think her material is certainly aimed towards mums. You know, it's the the jokes that are kind of along the lines of, you know, sleep deprivation from having kids, how kids kind of get in the way of your life, even though you love them and how they can be cute, but obviously um, do things that are hilarious. Um, now, I don't think that appeals to all people. Um I think, yeah, that's a certain demographic that would really find that hilarious. Um, It was amusing for us. Um, However, you know, that's not my kind of comedy, um, but still very amusing. Um, So I thought overall it was a really great night out. Um, But I have to say that, yeah, you certainly saw once Tony Martin came out, um, you really saw the difference in the seasoned yeah. comedy to the more upcoming um, comedians. Yeah, and and we should say too, like Tony has a history of doing live comedy, like not only stand up, but um, being a host of the DJ and Martin Malloy, he was doing hours and hours and hours of live comedy on air every Saturday night. Um, the late show would start with him and Mick Malloy coming out and doing stand up. Like, if you 
if you're doing stand up in front of a, a national audience on the ABC on a Saturday night, you you should have your craft down pat to do it at the National Theatre in St Kilda. Um, look, I, I will say straight out, Tony Martin is one of the reasons I got into radio. Um, it was watching the Late Show and listening to Martin Malloy that that made me think, hey, maybe that's something that I could do. Like, and um, I've done a couple of stand up. Uh, performances now and uh, people like him are the people that I've kind of looked up to over the years so I was really really excited to see um, him do stand-up because I hadn't seen him do stand-up for for quite a while um, and yeah he blew me away like once again as soon as he came out I think his first joke had me laughing and I said to you at one point I'm glad I brought my asthma puffer because I'm gonna need it after this like um because he just has this great observational humor like the stuff that he talks about is stuff that we see every day like again i'm not going to steal his jokes but um he was talking about the amount of people that are walking around melbourne streets at the moment talking to each other which you are seeing a lot of at the moment um or talking to themselves um and yeah like to to show like how local it was he told it that joke, we were laughing about it, and we walked out of the theatre and ran into someone that was doing that, like, um, even his story about going into shops and stuff like that, if you, if you listen to Tony over the years, and you've listened to, um, watch the late show, you'll know that's his kind of, kind of comedy, and he'll incorporate new stories and stuff like that, because he's very much in tune with what's going on around the world, I also really liked Matt Stewart hosting, I thought he was really, really natural, um, and once his comedy kicked in as well, I think it went to a whole new level. The other person that really surprised me was, um, Nicholas J. Johnson. Um, there's a lot of, I've, I've never been someone who's been really, um, impressed by magic. A lot of the times when I watch magic in my mind, I can work out how they're doing the trick. There's one comedian, uh, one magician here in Melbourne. I can't think of his name. You and I have seen him a couple of times. I can never pick his tricks. Um, he's absolutely amazing with the illusions and stuff that he does. I, I would actually put Nicholas J. Johnson in that as well. There was two tricks that he did the other night that I'm still trying to work out how he did them because I can't figure out how um, he did them. Any of those ones where they select multiple people out of the audience and give them something... And then are able to then later on read back what those people have got. That, as someone that's got a pretty poor memory when it comes to people's names and stuff like that, that just blows me away that um, people can actually do that. And he did that the other night by handing out Scrabble tiles that then somehow um, spelt out the word that a lady had earlier um, done a circle around in a dictionary. Like... Uh, that that kind of thing just blows me away. So, yeah, I thought it was another really good night. Anna Perry and now uh, Nicolette Minster made me laugh as well. So it was another good night of um, of comedy. So if you do get a chance, go and check out Comedy Gold down at the National Theatre in St Kilda. It's on every Friday night, and at the moment you're getting a real treat because you're getting a lot of comedians coming along um, who are trying out material for the comedy festival. So you get um, basically getting like five mini comedy festival shows every night at Comedy Gold. So uh, yeah, go and check out Comedy Gold at the National Theatre. It's on every Friday night at the moment from 7.30 to 9 o'clock. So go and check it out.